uh, Netflix's Texas Chainsaw Master 2 rumors have begun to swirl. Let me put this over here. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Netflix's Texas Chainsaw Massacre rumors have begun to swirl. Okay. It's been four months since Netflix premiered Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a brand new legacy sequel to Toby Hooper's original horror classic that arrived on February 18th. We haven't heard a peep about the franchise's future since then, but as of this week, rumors have started to swirl that Netflix might be looking to continue the storyline with a couple of sequels a couple of sequels okay uh, yes the rumor is that Netflix is looking to order up not just one but possibly even two Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequels a rumor that bloody disgusting has not um, been able to confirm we have heard however that Netflix uh, has very much discussed the possibility of potential sequels to their aren't they just kind of restating the same thing over and over uh, we checked with our sources and can, can confirm that Netflix had most definitely discussed plans for sequels ahead of the release, performance pending. In other words, Netflix would gladly bring Leatherface back for more if enough people streamed Texas Chainsaw Massacre this year. That was my question. Like, How successful were, uh, was that Netflix movie? Which begs the question, was the film's performance strong enough to warrant more? Okay. Here's what we know. We know in its debut weekend, Texas Chainsaw Massacre came in the number two spot on Netflix's global charts for the week. Viewed by subscribers more than 29 million hours in those first few days. In its second week being available on Netflix, the legacy sequel was the number three most watched movie on the streaming service, suggesting it was definitely a hit. Yeah, I think it was a hit. Yeah, as far as Netflix goes. Netflix has only provided numbers on the film for those first two weeks so the trail goes cold from there but we do know that texas chainsaw massacre director david blue garcia is very much interested in picking up the the chainsaw again revealing in an interview back in february that he's already got some really cool ideas for where the franchise could go next in the post credit scene or the post credit teaser scene for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we saw Leatherface return to the infamous house from Toby, Ho Toby Hooper's original classic, uh, the place where the nightmare began. A battered and bloodied Leatherface stumbles down a dirt path, carrying his trusty chainsaw, the filmmakers revealing his old family home as the monster's new um, destination. No word on whether or not producer Fede Alvarez would remain involved for any subse subsequent Texas Chainsaw Massacre films uh, from legendary Netflix, Netflix, but we'll report more as we learn. So two sequels. Um, I really, really, really had a good, good time. A good, good time with the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie on Netflix. And, and that's all I was looking for. When I when I think about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I'm not trying to get philosophical. I'm not trying to learn any life lessons. I just want to see a chainsaw wielding maniac killing people. That's pretty much all I want. Did I get that in the last movie? Oh boy, did I. Okay, and I think that's what it comes down to. What do you want out of your Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie? Um, and also. Continuity wise, this would be a nice step in the right direction because none of the movies, except for I think the remake and the prequel, are even connected. You know, I think loosely, very loosely, the first and second are connected, but if you said no, I wouldn't argue with you. It, it is, it is the most fucked up continuity in all of horror, I think. Texas Chainsaw. So the fact that they're wanting to do a full Two more movies making it a trilogy? That's pretty exciting to me, actually, because at least, you know, maybe you have some characters that were in that first... Because remember, um, spoiler alert, I'm sure if you guys wanted to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you would have watched it right now. So if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'm going to give you a quick little spoiler. So five seconds, four, three, two, one. At the end, when Leatherface chainsaws one of the main characters head off in front of the other main character as she speeds away um there is one survivor so there's a you know they could bring that person back in the new movie now the thing is i can't remember the young actress's name but i've seen her around doing a lot of tv 
She was in Barry, which, by the way, Barry, oh my, if you guys aren't watching Barry, get on that shit. That is such a great show. Bill Hader. But yeah, she's in Barry, but she's been in a million things. So she might be a very busy actress and she might not even be interested in doing another Texas movie unless she signed a contract to do two more, you know? Um, Jimmy Dean says the last Chainsaw movie sucked without Marilyn Burns, but maybe Terry uh, McMinn can make a comeback. Well, I mean, to be fair, Marilyn Burns never had an active role after the first movie. She's made appearances. Uh, She was in Texas Chainsaw 3D. But, I mean, I just, I don't think, I mean, obviously, they had the character Sally in the last one. Um, at the end of the day, it didn't really bother me that Marilyn Burns wasn't in the movie. Okay. And that's just a personal thing. I, but don't get me wrong. I adore Marilyn Burns. I think she's one of the most important women ever in horror. One of the most important characters in horror. So I'm not trying to take anything away from Marilyn Burns. She is a godsend. Okay. But this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise and she's not Lori Strode and I, I don't mean that comparing her to Lori Strode I'm just saying she hasn't been in what five six sequels so she's not she's not the same type of character as Lori Strode is I, that's what I'm trying to say I love Sally you know I don't think I think Sally was kind of the weak spot of the last movie because I couldn't really get invested in the character as much um but I had fun around Sally you know uh, so yeah, Sally's dead anyway, so she's not coming back for any more movies. Um, but you know what? I think there's, there's room to grow. I do like the style of the director that did the movie. Um, and I am curious to see where the story could go if he's got two more movies in mind, you know? So yeah, I say, I say, bring it on. I say, bring it on. Um, uh, let's see the first, let's see. George Helmet says the first three Texas Chainsaw Massacres are pretty much all I need. Well, I don't even really like the third Texas Chainsaw Massacre, George. Um, I like the first and the second. I love uh, the remake. I love the prequel. Um, Texas Chainsaw 3D, I think, is highly underrated. I have I, I have so much fun with Texas Chainsaw 3D. Um, love the new one. There's a lot of Texas movies that I really, really like. It might be one of my most, I guess, consistently liked franchises out there. Okay, Because I'm trying to think of which movies I really hate that I don't like. I don't think I hate any of them. I actually I do. <laughs> yeah, Next Generation. I think yeah, I, I I don't like that movie at all. That's a really really con- that's a that's a frustrating movie. Okay, you got a very memorable performance by McConaughey, but wow, 